To design a system using a PLA, you need only find sum of product expressions for the function to be implemented. The only limitation is that the number of AND gates, that's the product terms, that are available. That's the only limitation. So you have, and you usually you're trying to see if there's a match there so you can use the same gate for more than one function. So a PLA, notice we stopped even drawing the AND gates. We just write the expression. We know that's going to be an AND gate. That's going to be an OR gate. So let me take a function here. We have a four input function. Actually, three of them. I have W, A, B, C, and D equals the summation of 3, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 15. X, A, B, C, and D is the summation of 3, 4, 5, 7, 10, 14, and 15. And the last one, y, it's the summation of 1, 5, 7, 11 and 15. We want to design this using PLA. Can you move it over a little bit so you can see that? Yep. Now let me read that again. It says, to design a system using PLA, you need only find sum of product expression. Sum of product. You want to group the ones to give you a sum of product. The only limitation is the number of AND gates. Number of product terms are available. Now, what I try to do with these, I try to, because you're limited by the number of AND gates on them, so you try actually see if there's a match there. I look at W, I try to do all three, do a K map for each one. A, B, C, and D. This is for W. I do one for X. And I do one for Y. That's X, and the third one for Y. And hopefully I can find a match, because if there's a match of the same gate, I'm using less gates. So I'm going to do a 3K map, put in the values for them. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, ten, eleven. Where's my whiteout? Ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15. That's a W. So when I read that, there is actually four ones here, which is what? C and D plus these two. I'm going to write the min terms. AND gates, which is what? That's A, B bar, C bar, right? The next one, the X, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. No, nope, but I can take these two. Right? Mm -hmm. Now these two will give me what? A. C D C D naught. Yep. That's the only way to group these two. I don't have a choice. The only way to group these two is to go this way. That's what? A naught. B, C naught. The only way to group this one is this way, which is what? A naught, C, D. Now this one, I'm going to wait on it. Why? Because I might be able to get a match, because I can group this this way, I can group it that way. Maybe if I'm lucky, there's a match here so I can use the same gate. But right now, this, I don't have a choice. So now let's go to that one. So let's leave this one. I'll come back to that one, see how we're going to do it. And 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mm. There is one group, which is what? A naught, C naught, D. There's another group here. Is that the one? Okay. And that will give me what? A, C, D. A, C, D. Now, I'm trying to group this one and this one. So it looks to me the only way to group them, these two, the only way, if I take this one this way, and I take that one this way, I can use the same one for both, right? So that's why I waited on that one. So now I can add this one to both sides, which is what? B, C, D. So it's the same gate. Because your limit says, if you go back to the definition, it says, it's min terms, the only limits. Here we go. PLA, to design a PLA system, you need only to find the sum of product expression for each function. The only limitation is the number of AND gates. So if I can minimize some of them by combining, by taking this and that, I don't have to use two. I'm only using one for both of these. That's a better design. So when I go to design that, now instead of listing all 16 with the ROM, you're going to list all the combinations, every one of them. With this, it's going to be the same thing. I'm not going to put the AND gates. We know these are AND gates. So what I'm going to do with them, here we go. Notice I'm going to need how many AND gates? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 
try to be nice and neat. Here we go. So we have A. This is A naught. Where's the extra graphic that you had? The drawer right here. Just open it on the left side. B. The left side. Right here. Yep. Yep. See on the, t see on the top? Keep oh, it. Yeah. Can I put them on the table? Or? You can put a few on the table. Sure. C. D. So these are my four uh, inputs, A, B, C, D. And now I'm going to have eight functions. I saw that. This is one. So I don't have to list all 16 combinations here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And the last one is eight. Why do you know? Could have 16 different combinations. You're not going to have 16. Yet. It's four inputs. So I'm going to have one for W, one for W, this is W, one for, what was the other one, X? So if I'll put there, and one for Y. And the way we're going to do that, we look at this. The first one, it says C and D. Let's attach C and D to it. And which one is on? Only W. The next function, A, B naught, C naught. A, B naught, C naught. And that's only W's on. The next one, A, C, and D naught. A, C, and D naught. And that's actually 4X. Next one, A naught, B, C naught. A naught, B, C naught. And what's attached to that? That's also X. Next one, A naught, C, and D. A naught, C, and D. And that's going here. And the last one, B, C, D. B, C, D. That happens to be common to both, to X and to Y. I need two more for Y and I'm done. For Y now, I need A naught, C naught, and D. A naught, C naught, 
and D. And the last one, A, C, D. A, C, and D. And that's my design using the PLA. So when the person at the shop gets this one, says, oh, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and gate three OR gates. So the and they know what to attach to each one. So the difference between them, between the ROM and the PLA is that ROM has all You have to list all the combinations all for the, the ROM. Yeah. The PLA doesn't, it, it's nope. only specific to one. We just list what the functions are. Yep. much easier to make the PLA. Well, shorter. Yeah. So the, um, the other line. thing, you have to do a K-map and simplify it. The lines to the right, I just want to be sure, are W, X, and Y, right? The lines to the, which one, these? Yeah. Nope, that's just a gate. The first one is C and D. That's an AND gate. No, sorry, the line's going. This way? Yeah. Yeah, that's W, X, and Y. These are OR gates. Okay. We just don't put the OR. So it's an OR gate has this AND and this AND going to it. That's an OR gate has this end, this end, this end, this end going to it. That's an OR gate has this end, this end. So these are AND gates and these are OR gates. We just don't put the gates. So how would uncomplement apply to a PLA? Because we're stuck on that. I mean, um, like we did the homework. Remember you said that it wouldn't apply to the ROM, but it would apply to the other one? Well, you can't do the B naught here or C naught. So you you need, unless we have an extra one, try to expand. Like if you have like five or six inputs, then I can maybe make in one behave as the, look at it as a complement of that. But I don't see how that's going to work out for, yep, for the knot. So it has to have a, a complement. I mean, in both of these cases, the complement is done inside the chip. Is that? What is it? In both of these cases, the PLA and the ROM, the complementing is done inside the chip. Incorrect. So Correct. So is the next one. Yep. It's available yep. Yep. I, I, don't, I don't have any control over it. You know. So it's only when you get to the last part of that question that yeah. it actually matters, and you have to design the circuit using. Unless they have like, if they don't have it, maybe you can take some NOT gates and attach them. Like if you don't have the complement, then you do a NOT gate yourself. You know. But I mean, in both of these cases, the NOT gate is inside yep, the chip, I, I, how the chip is made. Well, this ad, well, this has AND gates already in them. This one, actually, they'll design it that way for you. This one, they will, because you don't know what's going to be attached to it. So you send them this expression, they'll make that chip for you that way. The next one we're going to look at, the chip is already designed with the AND gates. The ROM is already designed, and the PAL is already designed. The PLA, actually, they can design it any way they want to. If you don't have the complement, they'll take a NOT gate and complement I mean. I don't have a complement, okay, I'll take a NOR gate, you know, I'll make a NOT gate for you. I'll take an AND gate, make a NOT gate for you. That doesn't mean it does not exist. That doesn't mean you can't make it. That means I've just added another chip to it. Yeah, so for a complement, you can use an NAND gate. I can use an AND, I can use a NOR gate. Would you connect an AND gate to both of them, right? Right, for example, if you had No, gate. that'll be my, right here, yeah, the two inputs, mm -hmm. that'll be... X, and that's X naught now. Yeah, I'll yeah. Get it if it's not available, I can make it, you know. Okay. okay. Let's actually head to the lab.